Well, the masturbator media did it again. Yep, they did it again. This time, they're raising a fuss, just complaining and whining, that Mr. Trump said, why did the mother of the young Muslim soldier killed in Iraq not speak? And only the father did. You know, Mr. Trump, I'll tell you what, I actually have to hand it to you. You are a very keen observationist, very, very keen. And it's actually um, his right to say that because why did the mother not say anything? But I want to tell you guys a little bit into the culture. I am from Pakistan and I totally understand the culture. And oftentimes, even though people are Christians, they're Muslim by culture. You can say Christian by religion and Muslim by culture. And that pretty much sums up what goes on. In fact, there's a lot of people here from Pakistan, India, and many Muslim countries that come here to America, but they don't allow their wives to drive. They don't allow them to get educated. They sort of keep them isolated. So the fact that she was quiet was probably part of the culture. Um, but I would like to remind everybody of the, all the mourning and all the fuss. You know, everybody mourns when your children die. I don't think that anyone wants their child to die or to be buried. But the sad part is, you know, on 9-11, 2,792 innocent civilians who didn't sign up to go fight in a war were murdered by none other than Muslim terrorists, Arab Muslim terrorists, 2,792. Now, since 9-11, there have been 6,853 deaths of armed forces. Out of those 6,853 deaths, two of them have been Muslims. And I would like to remind you that whites make up 75.6% of our population. Now, 75.2 out of all those that were killed during this war, 3,525 of those killed were white soldiers. So Mr. and Mrs. Khan, I would like to say, you have a lot of company. You have the company of actually white, 3,525 white families who also lost loved ones. And blacks, which make up the 12.2% of the U.S. population, 437, which is 9.3% of those killed were black soldiers during this conflict. And on the other hand, Hispanics comprise 14.2 of the U.S. population, but 10.4, which is 489 of those killed were Hispanic soldiers. So really out of the 6,853 that have died, two of them were Muslims. But there were also 3,525 whites, 437 blacks, 489 Hispanics. And then on top of that, there were a lot of them that are dying by suicide. And actually, 22 of them a day are committing suicide. And so Mr. Trump is very concerned about our vets. And he plans on supporting them. And he actually has proven supporting them and standing by them. Right now, we have 30,490 that have been wounded in this war. Whites make up 25,254 of those wounded. Blacks make up 2,688 of those that are wounded. And Hispanics make up 2,061. That's a lot of wounded veterans that are walking around. Many of them are homeless. You know, I have friends that have lost loved ones in the war. One of my friends actually lost her son in Ramadi. He was one of the first killed. So I understand the grief. But to make a political statement out of this whole mess, you know, shame on the Democrats. Really, shame on them. And then shame on you liberal media libtards. Seriously, you guys ought to be ashamed of yourself for doing what you're doing and misleading the American public. 
Seriously, you know what? You guys are indeed the masturbator media. You guys lie, you guys deceive, you guys cheat, you guys delete. I am so done with this. Jesus Christ is Lord.